haswa kama sisi ni wa Somali tena sisi ni wa Islam haikubaliwi mwanamke akuwe msanii one thing we need to appreciate is that uh, or get to know is that uh, Somali culture is a patriarchal society women in most cases are looked down upon to the extent that uh, they may not even be allowed to involve themselves in in men related activities because basically the man is supposed to be the breadwinner of the family my childhood was just like another childhood of a, of a country boy farm boy i mean uh, someone from the from the countryside in uh, our family we were uh six kids out of 10 with albinism so you see my coping was easy as a last born so i mean the coping the coping mechanisms were already in place since i think the rest of the ones were trying to copy us because they were different from us i think him coming out as an albino and making music and him being in front of people with with um a condition that people term as a disability was a courageous move. I think he's a very confident person number one for doing that. My early childhood was mostly spent in hospitals because I was diagnosed with um, retinoblastoma which is a form of childhood eye cancer. After two years of being alive uh, my last eye was removed so i lost my sight completely well that's when our life officially began so i just grew up like one of those other kids i never felt lonely i never felt you know like the odd one out i i learned to live with polio yeah and uh, i mean for me it's it's uh i mean i i took it very positively yeah living with it uh and i sometimes feel like uh well it's my lucky side <laughs> <laughs> 